vlog number two corpus christi texas 2022 that is my gary fisher mountain bike my bread and butter got it about 12 years ago at a pawn shop the map down to corpus from houston three and a half hour drive i did stop at the bucky's in wharton if you know about bucky's you know shout out to everyone out there in wharton some of the farmland that you'll see as you're driving and the water along the uh, coastline there lots of construction happening in corpus it was yeah like lots of buildings everywhere and bridges i love bridges maybe it's the architecture or how the engineers get us from one side to another side but yeah i love bridges and that's corpus also famous for south padre island they had this setup of american flags along the coastline which i thought was super awesome to see this is the motel. This is what $80 a night gets you in Corpus. Wanted you to check it out. Two big old beds in there. They had two extra doors. So I pushed one of the beds up against the door. The attendant said that there's a water heater in there. I don't know, but yeah, I just wanted to be secure. Missing a cabinet. Some of the lights were out. I mean, overall I got sleep. It wasn't loud, so I can't complain that AC, the heater worked, but that's what you get for $80 a night in Corpus. Shout out to Manny from Get CCLED. Just want to walk you through the CCLED system. What we have is we have a high powered lithium ion battery in each hub. It's a moving part, it needs to sit in the middle of the hub. Uh, some of the most efficient and brightest lights on the market. These are special order. And we get it as bright as a car headlight, it's ridiculously bright. We like to max out the fun on the rides. We also like to kind of spread them out in our own rides for safety issues. We'll usually have a lighted bike in the front. We'll have one in the middle, one in the rear, just so people, motorists can see the pack or you can see the fun coming by. Uh, they're they're going to stay on for about 30 hours, but they'll be bright for four to six, possibly eight. We, we have a, another one coming on the market. It's $99, uh, two to three hours, very bright lights. Uh, CCLD started out as a kids project, uh, walking the kids through engineering, uh, how you make something, how you add value to things. Uh, we were always interested in bikes, always interested in, in uh, bike lights. We just want to max it out, uh, take it to another level. One of the things I recommend, I, I don't sell mine as a safety product. We use it for safety and rides. However, what I do recommend is always having a headlight in the front. Uh, you want to see what's on the road. You want motorists to see you before it's too late. You also need one in the rear. You, you know, don't sacrifice the style of the bike over safety. Uh, you know, put one right here in the seat post, one here in the rear fork. Red light, it's the law. It also, you know, gives you visibility on the road. After lunch, I rode on the coastline, on the bike trail. Again, amazing to see all the American flags set up. Now you do have to ride on the street on some parts, but the traffic was going about 30 to 40 miles an hour. They were pretty slow and there is a bike lane. So I wasn't too worried. You can see by the water, it was really choppy that day and extremely, extremely cold. I know everyone out there that was riding would attest to that. This is one of the local piers that I got to sort of ride on, Coal Park Pier. You'll notice the guy sitting on the right he tells me, hey, you're not supposed to have bikes on there. So I didn't go all the way down. I respected that and turned around, but it looked really nice. And there's an awesome skate park there. The locals were friendly as I rode around and recorded. So I appreciated that. And this was the starting point of the ride that we had. And funny thing is, most of the people were from Houston. But hey, it was like a big reunion of friends and I really enjoyed it out there. We also rode in the city where there was very little car traffic, really clean, very calm. I mean, we were the ones making all the noise with the boom boxes and everything, but really enjoyed it. They had the Christmas lights out, so that was pretty neat as well. Shout out to Donkey from the Ratchet Riders. And there's Manny on his bike with his light. So you can see just how bright those lights are when you're riding around. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. Guys, I really appreciate everyone that watches, subscribes, likes, follows, shares. Leave comments. Let me know what you want to see more of. Is it the bike ride interviews? Is it the vlogs? Is it the bike shop interviews? 
I want to improve and give you the content that you want to see. And again, we're trying to raise bicycle awareness one person at a time. This is the midpoint where we stop. People got to eat, have a drink, relax for a little while. The next day before I drove home, super calm, beautiful morning. It was still freezing cold, but yeah, I enjoyed it. I'm Luke for Ride Bikes More and I am out.